Hi, welcome to my video on the inverse of a parabola, part four. Number one, f of x equals x squared plus 4x plus 5. So we want to find the inverse of f to the negative 1, the inverse of f. But to do that, we need to have the equation in, of f of x in this form which is f of x equals a outside of x minus h all squared plus k. It has to be in this form in order to solve it for y. So that means I have two options. I can take the f of x, so this is f of x equals a x squared plus b x plus c. And that means that a is 1, b is 4, and c is 5. So a way to do that, the x coordinate of vertex, x is equal to negative b over 2a. That means b is 4, so we got a negative 4 all over 2 times a, which is 1 negative 4 over 2. So the x-coordinate of vertex is negative 2. So the f of negative 2, so now I'm going to take the negative 2 and put it into this expression. x is negative 2. And the f of negative 2 is 4 minus 8 plus 5. So that's a 9 minus 8 is 1. So that means the vertex is x is negative 2, y is 1, and a is 1. So that means the equation is f of x, a is 1, x minus h, the opposite of negative 2 is a plus 2, and k is 1. So that's the f of x equation. So if we want the inverse, we change the f of x to a y. We switch the y to an x and x to a y. And we solve for y. plus minus the square root of x minus 1. Square root of x plus 2 all squared is, sorry, y plus 2 all squared is y plus 2. So we have plus or minus the square root of x minus 1 minus 2 equals y. And so its inverse is f to the negative 1 of x plus minus square root of x minus 1 minus 2. And again, just to check, the vertex here is negative 2, 1. So here it should be 1, perfect, 1, negative 2, plus, minus. Another way to do that is to, I could change it to y, leave f, I complete the square. So I have an x squared plus 4x. Half of 4 is 2, 2 squared is 4. So I add on 4, so I subtract 4. So y equals, and this is a perfect square trinomial, so the square root of x squared is x, the square root of 4 is 2, plus 2, all squared, plus 1. So, that's the, um, in the y equals, it's already y equals ax squared, so then we can take it from here, and so now it's a matter of just going, the next step is to put, change the y to an x and x to a y and go down through and you'll come up with this equation. So the vertex of the parabola is negative 2, 1. So we put that in the middle. And so we'll go negative 1, 0, negative 3, negative 4. So if I take this e negative 1 and put it into uh, this equation, uh, this equation right here, or I could put it into here, it makes no difference. 
if I put it into this equation. Negative 1 here gives me a 1. 1 squared is 1, so that gives me a 2. So that's going to give me a 2. I put a 0 into this equation. I get a 2 squared is 4 plus 1 is 5. So that's a 5. So if we do the inverse, the y's become the x's. And the x's become the y's in the inverse. And just to check, let's take 5. Let's see what I get a 0. Put a 5 here, and I'll get uh, 5 minus 1 is 4. Square root of 4 is 2. Plus minus 2, subtract 2. So 5 gives you 0. 5 gives you negative 4. So if you've got plus minus 2 minus 2, so that's plus 2 minus 2, or you got plus 2 plus 2. So you got a 0, or uh, 2 add on that is 0, so that's a, a minus there. I was doing a plus, minus, minus. That's the positive 2, subtract 2, that's the negative 2, subtract 2, so that's the negative 4. So there's the 2 of them there, just to check. And we want to graph that. So we have 0 gives you a 5 when x is the vertex, sorry, the vertex is negative 2, 1. x is negative 2, y is 1. And we got uh, negative 1, 2. x is negative 1, y is 2. x is 0, y is 5. And we got negative 3 gives us 2. And a negative 4 gives us a 5, right there. So that's the parabola that we're, that's the f of x. So what I'm going to do now is take the pencil, a red marker, red pen, and do its inverse. So the inverse of this one, uh, 0, 5 is 5, 0, 5, 0. Uh, 2, negative 1. 2, negative 1, uh, x2, 1, negative 2, two negative 3, and 5, negative 4. So this is f to the negative 1. It's inverse. So notice you had to take this equation and change it to this form. So you could do this method by complete the square, or you could do this method. After you get this form, then you can go through changing the x and y and working it all out. Okay, let's... I thought, I, thought I would give you a different question, or same, similar question, but the start is different. Now we have a, a question that I made up. f of x equals ax squared plus bx plus c. The f to the negative 1 of b is 0. The f of a equals ab. b is equal to 2a. Find f to the negative 1. So we got to get the f of x first. So if f to the negative 1 of 8 is 0, that means the f of 0 is equal to 8. So the f of 0 is equal to 8. So that means we have the f of x equals ax squared plus bx plus c. So the f of 0 equals a x to the 0 plus b times 0 plus c. So the f of 0, that's a 0. That's a 0 gives you c. So if the, if the f of 0 gives you 8, that means c must be 8. So we take 8 and put it in the equation. So the f of x is equal to a x squared plus bx plus 8. Now let's take the next part. The f of a equals ab. So the f of a, x is a x is a, 
So I've taken, again, I've taken the f of a, which is a, b, and solving in place of x, and I, this, so the f of a equals a cubed plus a b plus a. So the f of a equals a b. So that means that's the f of a and that's the f of a. That means a cubed plus a b plus a equals, and that equals, that's f of a and f of a, that equals a b. Notice a b is on each side, cancel them out. So a cubed equals negative 8. The cube root of a cubed is the cube root of negative 8. So the cube root of a cubed is a equals negative 2. The cube root of negative 8 is negative 2. So that means we got the f of x is equal to, we have ax squared plus bx plus 8. Now we got a is negative 2. But now we also have, after this, we also have that b is equal to 2a. So b is equal to 2a. That means b is equal to 2 times a is negative 2. That means b is negative 4. So that means the f of x is equal to negative 2x squared. b is negative 4 plus 8. So now we have the equation in this form. So let's take that equation, which is the f of x, and put it up here and work it down through. So again, I have a choice of doing negative b over 2a or complete the square. Let's complete the square. Take the negative 2 out. Took the negative 2 out. Gives you x squared plus 2x. So what we do now, we take a half of 2 and half of that is 1. 1 squared is 1. That makes it a perfect square trinomial. But because I put a 1 here, negative 2 times 1 is negative 2. So I have to do its opposite, which is 2. So the f of x is equal to negative 2. This is the perfect square trinomial factored into x plus 1 all squared plus 10. Now we have it in the right form. Change the f of x to a y. Switch the y to an x and an x to a y. And we have 10, so we got an x minus 10. Solving for what? Divide by negative 2. So we get x minus 10 divided by negative 2. Divide by negative 2. And this cancels out. It gives you y plus 1 squared. This becomes negative a half x plus 5. We do the plus minus the square root. And this square root of y minus 1, this is y minus 1 squared, so this is y, sorry, y plus 1, y plus 1, plus minus square root of a negative a half x plus 5, and so y is equal to plus minus square root negative a half x plus 5 minus 1, so it's f to the negative 1 of x is plus minus the square root negative a half x plus 5 minus 1. So good. When I made up this question, I want to make up something different to help you think. So to combine, notice the algebra is involved in here, and perfect, excellent question to do a good review of the quadratics and finding the vertex and, and doing the inverse. So, beautiful question. And again, if you like my 
video, click the like button. If you're not a subscriber, you can subscribe to my channel and visit my math website, www.mathfullyexplained.com to find more information about me, my videos, and the content. That's the content on my YouTube channel called Math Fully Explained, which is just one word. Thank you for viewing my video. Hope the video helped you. Bye-bye.